Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of June 19th, 2016. The discovery nearly two decades ago of nine articulated vertebrae is shedding new light on a 66 million year old sauropod called Elamosaurus sanwinensis. Giant sauropods like Alamosaurus have amazed people since the 1800s. Their sheer size boggles the mind, and they have forced scientists to rethink the physical limits of land-living animals, said Ronald S. Tykoski, the new paper's lead author and director of paleontology at the Perot Museum of Nature and Science. Alamosaurus was a titanosaur sauropod, one of the groups of long-necked dinosaurs that included the largest animals to ever walk the earth. The name Alamosaurus came from the Ojo Alamo trading post and the geographical formation in New Mexico where the first bones were found, and not after the historic battle of 1836. The discovery of these massive bones came in 1997 in the northeast section of Big Bend National Park. They were excavating a site that produced parts of several immature sauropods when Dana Biasati, then a student at the University of Texas at Dallas, came upon the remarkable remains of an adult titanosaur. The nine vertebrae were the first articulated series of adult Alamosaurus neck bones ever found. And the fossils of Alamosaurus from Big Bend represent the biggest dinosaurs ever discovered in Texas. Today, visitors can view the actual fossilized neck bones from Big Bend at the Perot Museum of Nature and Science. The enormous bones served as the inspiration for the centerpiece for the museum's T. Boone Pickens Life Then and Now Hall, a fully assembled skeleton of the Alamosaurus stretching more than the length of two school buses, dwarfing a Tyrannosaurus Rex standing next to it. The Perot Museum's paleontologists credit the success of the 19-year initiative to the numerous partners who collaborated from start to finish. Perot Museum's chief curator and study co-author Anthony R. Fiorello adds, This was such an incredible find, and we were able to work with so many people to help us reach a successful conclusion. I guess at some level, everyone reverted back to their childhood awe of giant dinosaurs. I recently had the opportunity to be a guest on the Jurassic Park podcast, one of my favorite podcasts out there. Check it out from the link in the description below. We discussed lots of great topics including dinosaurs and how they actually looked versus how they appear in movies, why I think the Indominus is the most animal-like dinosaur in the Jurassic series, what I liked and did not like about the good dinosaur, and we talked a lot about theme parks in Orlando, including the new King Kong ride at Islands of Adventure, and what are the best parts of the Jurassic Park area in Islands of Adventure. <coughs> including some of the often overlooked hidden gems of the Jurassic Park area. Plus, we talked about what new rides and attractions they might be bringing to the parks next, based on the Jurassic World franchise, and what the Jurassic World sequel could bring. Of course, we also touched on the Dinosaur Stop website and some of the new things we have planned for the future. So go and listen today, and if you haven't checked it out before, the Jurassic Park podcast is an incredible resource for Jurassic news, rumors, interviews, and fun discussions about the greatest dinosaur film franchise of all time. Be sure to enter our free giveaway going on now for your chance to win the hybrid effects Tyrannosaurus Rex and Owen Alpha with Velociraptor Blue playset, and more. See the contest video on the channel to enter and for more information. And check out DinosaurStop.com where you can stay up to date on dinosaur news, check out fun dinosaur places to visit, watch videos, and more. That's all for this week. And until next time. Wow.